This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today I am going to show you some of the nastiest keyways made. Now, I recently posted video number 477, in which I picked a Medico Keymark cylinder. Now, as you can see, the Keymarks have a very intimidating keyway, and the question was posed to me in the comments, what are the worst keyways out there? Now, I won't pretend to know the answer to that question. I'm sure there are a ton of keyways that I've never seen or even heard of. But what I can do is show you 10 of the nastiest keyways in my collection. So that's what we're gonna do today. I am, however, going to start out with a couple of honorable mentions. The first one is made by the Freidenlock Company, and it's not what you would think about when you think of nasty keyways. This has a round circular keyway that doesn't look that hard at first blush. However, it presents a lot of challenges for tensioning the lock, and it's even difficult to get your pick on a pin without slipping off because the keyway is so wide open. It's actually not an original idea from the Freidenlock company. It was originally done by a company called Maxis that's long since gone out of business. But this lock definitely shows that you don't have to have a paracentric keyway to have a particularly nasty one. My next honorable mention is the EVA ALS. Now this doesn't look like it has that bad of a keyway, just looking at it from the front. However, if you look at this key, you can see something strange happens at the very tip. And what that is, is the warding actually changes from what you see on the lock to what you see on the key, that really nasty zigzag pattern. And how it does that is by putting an insert far back in the cylinder that changes the warding from a relatively open keyway to a very, very tight keyway. If you wanna see me picking this, you can see that in video number 25. I should also mention that Freyden lock that I just showed you. You can see me picking this guy in video number 84. Okay, enough with the honorable mentions. Let's get on with the list. In the number 10 spot, I have a metal Euro profile cylinder. It's the model X6V. You can see me picking this in video number 28 and also in video number 476. Now, as you can see, this has a really interesting curved keyway that you have to approach a little bit differently. However, if you are familiar with the lessons that I put in my video number 82 and approach this lock from an angle, you can weave a pick through that warding. Okay, next one on my list is a GG lock that I don't know the model name to. In fact, no one I've met has been able to tell me what model this is. Everyone just calls it the crazy keyway lock. You can see a ton of different bits of warding sticking out into the keyway that would make this very difficult for a lock picker to navigate. If you want, do want to see how to open this lock up, you can see that in video number 54. Okay, next on the video, in the number eight spot, an Abus the Vitesse. Like the metal model X6V. This has a curved keyway with lots of little bits of warding sticking out there that can make it very, very tricky to navigate, particularly if you have bidding where you have a lot of high cuts like this one. If you do want to see how to approach this lock and how to open it up, you can see me picking this one in video number 251. Okay, next in the Number seven spot, I have another GG lock. It's the model AP2000. You can see right from the, right the get-go, that is a crazy shaped keyway, particularly once you get to the higher set pins, it requires you to navigate a lot of warding that can be very, very difficult. I know this lock, at least in the beginning, gave me a lot of trouble but I was able to open it. And if you wanna see that, you can see it in video number 114. Okay, next on the list is a cam lock, the only cam lock 
and it is an EVA model GPI. I don't know if they even still make this keyway, but this has about the nastiest zigzag pattern you can possibly imagine. If we look at the, the front of the key, you can see that zigzag, and you can imagine how that could be very, very difficult to navigate. And in fact, I have never been able to open this lock up. So good job by Eva on this one. In the number five spot, we have the key mark that I showed you just a minute ago. Now this is one of several locks that I'll show you that makes the warding particularly hard by putting a series of 90 degree turns in there. This one is able to be navigated because Medico has left a very, very tiny little hole that you can slip a pick through the warding, but it's certainly not easy. And if you do wanna see me picking one of these, you can see it in either video 288 or 477. Okay, for the number four spot on the list, we go all the way to Australia with the Lockwood Master Locksmith Keyway, another keyway with one of these 90 degree turns in it. And what we have are the pins that are actually resting on this little bit of warding that sticks out from the left side, which makes it very, very difficult to approach them. You have to do it from the right side and you really don't have enough room to access pins, particularly if you have a lot of high set ones. Now, this was sent to me by a retired master locksmith from, from Australia, and he cut this key especially for me with this nasty keyway, and with the, I'm sorry, with this nasty bidding. And with the combination of this keyway and this bidding, this lock is all but impossible to open up. Okay, in the number three spot, I have a best small format interchangeable core, the WB Keyway. Another keyway with one of these crazy 90 degree turns in it. Very, very tricky to get through. And in fact, I have never been able to open one of these up. I have opened its brother, the WC, which is just a tiny bit less paracentric. It has a bit more of an angle right here, but the WB is one that has been beyond my reach for quite a while. In the number two slot, from ASA, the Ruko Series 1200. And it's the same keyway, I believe, that's used in the Model D12. Another keyway with these nasty 90 degree turns on it and pins that are actually resting on the warding. Very, very difficult to get a pick in there. Very difficult to lift pins very high, even if you can get a pick in there. And again, like that lock would, if you have a key with tricky bidding, this lock is all but impossible to open up. Okay, finally, in the number one slot, a lock from Chisa, I believe it's pronounced, although it's also made by Abus. This is this, the Chisa Security Profile Lock. Forget about those 90 degree turns. We have a greater than 90 degree turn. And forget about resting your pins on the warding. This lock, they actually drilled holes into the warding. So these are these pins are actually resting in dimples on the warding. It is almost impossible to insert a pick from that right side and lift those pins up. I did figure out a trick for opening these up, and if you wanna see that, you can find it in video number 252, where I actually use a third tool to open it up while I'm picking. It's, a, uh, it's an interesting little technique. If you're interested, please go check that out. But certainly a nasty, nasty keyway and probably the most intimidating one I have in my collection. So that's it for my top 10 nasty keyways. If you have any questions or comments or you have another keyway in mind that you think ought to be on this list, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.